So as a lot of you know, I'm really passionate about creating tutorials for 3D software in general. So I love working in 3D and it's really a passion of mine to make 3D software accessible to everyone, which is why I create tutorials the way that I do. So I started off with SketchUp, which I'm still really passionate about. I'm coming up on my thousandth video on this channel. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. So I've also branched out into other topics, including rendering, Fusion 360, and also Blender. Well, now I'm branching out again and I'm creating a Rhino 3D modeling channel. And so Rhinoceros is a program that's designed to allow you to model with more like NURBS curves and complex surfaces. It does have other tools in there as well for creating solids and um, things like more simple shapes that you'd use for floor plans and other things like that. So it's really kind of a complete modeling tool set with a number of different tools for creating complex shapes. All right, so first off, where can you find this channel? You can find it by searching for The Rhino Essentials on YouTube. So very simple, just look for The Rhino Essentials. I'll also link to the new channel in the notes below this video. So second off, there's a couple things that I always like to talk about when I'm creating a new channel about a new software. So first off, this does not mean that I'm moving away from SketchUp or that I'm gonna stop making SketchUp tutorials. It's not a statement on my feelings about the future of SketchUp. So I create new channels because I wanna continue pushing myself and learning new things. Um, that's gonna help me not only on this channel, but on all my other channels as well. It's also gonna help me grow as a 3D modeler. So when I branch out into new software, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop using the old software. It means I wanna add something new to my toolbox. So this also is not a statement on if I think one program and the other is better. Um, the reality is I think that different tools have different strengths and I think for some people, some software makes sense and not others. I also think for a lot of people, it would be really beneficial for them to learn how to use multiple different programs, understanding that there's budget constraints and time constraints as well. But what I've found is when I go learn another program, I take that knowledge that I learned in that program and I bring it back into the programs that I was using before. I am much better at SketchUp now having used Blender for a little while. Um, that doesn't mean that Blender is better. That doesn't even necessarily mean that SketchUp is better. It means that I'm adding to my tool set um, of things that I can do so that I can model what I want to model. All right, so what are we going to talk about on this channel? So it's going to be similar to my SketchUp and Blender channels. So we're going to talk about essential tips and things that are going to make working in Rhino easier. We're also going to talk about um, things like all the different transform tools, the different tools that are contained inside of the program and how they work, as well as things like plug to tutorials. So we're going to talk about the different plugins that you can use in Rhino to create different kinds of shapes. I'm especially excited to do some stuff with Grasshopper. So Grasshopper is kind of unique in the sense that it's an algorithmic modeling tool that's built into um, Rhino that you can use in order to create really cool complex shapes using math. So that's something I'm really excited about learning. I think that's probably one of the most unique things about Rhino and I'm very excited to dive into that a little bit more. So I think another reason that branching out into programs like this is important is that it allows me to participate in the conversation about what features other programs should have. So um, you may have seen some of the discussions about, well, SketchUp should have this feature, or SketchUp should have that feature. And inevitably, there's always somebody that jumps in and says, well, this other program is absolutely better in every possible way. And it's really hard to have those discussions and say, well, hold on, is it really, what is it, how does that actually work if you don't know how the other program works? So this is gonna allow me not only to participate in those discussions, but also also, if there are discussions about, hey, what features should SketchUp have, sometimes it's really valuable to look at other programs like a Rhino, like a Blender, see what they can do and see if those tools make sense to add into SketchUp as well. So that's going to allow me to participate in that discussion in a more educated way. So in the future, I also want to do some comparison videos about how Rhino handles certain things versus how SketchUp handles certain things. Um, I think those discussions can also be really valuable because when you learn how to do those things in other programs, it can sometimes Sometimes help you come up with new ways to do things inside of the program that you're currently using. So I'm excited to have those discussions as well, kind of a comparison between features in Rhino and SketchUp. Um, so that's kind of an overview. If you are interested in following along with that, I will link to my new Rhino channel in the notes down below. I will continue to make SketchUp tutorials. Those aren't going anywhere or anything like that. Um, in fact, I've been making the Rhino videos for a while now, and I've still been making the SketchUp content the same, same as I have been before. So so I will link to that in the notes down below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. If you're excited or interested, I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.